part of what we do here at CDAD is to work to ensure that people don't minimize the value and the expertise of the resident voice. I think the biggest impact they have is bringing all the various entities of community development together. We've always operated in silos here in the city of Detroit. All of us have voice in community development, and CDAD has been instrumental in making that happen. You know, the name of CDAD, Community Development Advocates of Detroit, we see CDAD as our advocate, as our helper, as our trusted partner. How do we empower these residents if we don't give them a voice, a place to make decisions? You need some type of support system. Always through CDAD, we were able to find those connections, whether it be with funding, or it be with uh, knowledge, or information. Nonprofit groups are very vulnerable. Ultimately, you have a mission, and you want to seriously accomplish your mission. But if you don't have that support me mechanism that CDAD provides, uh, we are a, at a double loser then, because we cannot deliver services to our communities. And one day I'm, I'm standing outside, there's this guy down the street named Cornbread. I don't know why they call him Cornbread, but that's his name. And he was like, Zeke, man, what's, what's going on there? I said, yeah, man, we're opening up this like coffee shop and, and laundromat in, in there. He said, laundromat, you, you're good. That's gonna, that's gonna make a lot of money coffee shop. Um, we don't want liquor store coffee either. We want quality coffee. Um, and that was in the midst of our construction that made me take a step back and feel like, you know what, we're, we're, we're on the right path. When we see the most impactful um, and conscious giving is when processes work with community to ask them what is actually needed here and then making sure that the giving matches that. It's something that you have to be mindful of and sometimes takes a little bit more time, but it ensures that the giving actually lands somewhere where it's gonna make a lasting impact. One of the other things I think really is important to see that it's done is that right now it's the only organization that I know of that really has broadened the lens of community development. Everybody is beginning to understand that we need to operate on the same page. We are positioning ourselves to really do development in the city from a more holistic approach. And I think a lot of it has to do with the leadership and the staff that's here. I'm inspired by Sarita and her leadership and just the way she does things. This kind of work, you have to understand, is, is really about supporting people who have already been doing work. It's not, you know, like we're not coming in, we're not saving anyone. We are not doing work that wasn't done before. We're trying to add our voices and our skills and expertise to it. We're a membership organization. We are serving our members. We are providing them with valuable information or relationships or connections, but definitely uh, we need to make sure that we are always supporting them. Everything's about integrity and trust, but we also have to have inclusion, whether you be a business, or you be a resident trying to pay your water bill. Those are integral uh, parts of being a citizen of the city. And if the city is serious about growing and being a dynamic city, it must not overlook one person. And that is why we look to organizations like CDAD to be there for community engagement and trust and integrity. We do our work to build up this power that is coming from the people that live here. And the outcome is that we want everyone to have a great neighborhood in the city of Detroit.